What is up YouTube? My name is Vinny and welcome to Roblast Media. Uh, before we crack on, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so, like this video and uh, click that notification bell. Alright, so today uh, the Interceptor is finally getting some modifications. So here we've got the uh, Lextech uh, slip-on exhaust. You can see that there. Lextech slip-ons and um, we've already installed the uh, fly screen there. So yeah, we'll be putting these on and then we'll do a bit of a sound comparison test with the original, or we'll probably use my GT for the original sound and then compare it to this. So yeah. Here's a bit of a size comparison of the exhaust. So we've got the Lextech one here, much smaller, much lighter. This is almost triple the weight. <laughs> Crazy. Whew, it's gonna sound good. Now we've got the Lextech exhaust installed. They look really awesome. Now we're gonna fire it up. First start up. leave it sit for 15 minutes now okay so we're whipping the baffles out of the exhaust look at that bore damn okay so we'll do a bit of a noise comparison after I've gotten these out <laughs> all right so now that we've got the baffle out we'll do a little bit of comparison test between the stock standard exhaust with the Lex Tech aftermarket slip-ons okay so this is the stock standard Usual, usual 650 note. All right, not too bad, not too bad. Sounds pretty cool for a stock exhaust. It's not until we turn on the uh, interceptor when we really do. Damn. Ooh. This is going to be a lot of fun. This is going to be a lot of fun. Alright, so I'm going to jump on the saddle, take it for a bit of a ride. I'll just have the external microphone on there uh, too, so you can hear the noise completely. And then um, I'll come to a stop and tell you my feelings about these new exhausts. Alright. Alright guys, so we've got to a clear enough road and we're going to we're gonna give the old Lextech uh, slip-ons a bit of a test. Now, on my ride over here, fucking rowdy so uh, let's go this should be good as Noticeably quicker, especially in that 
Olympic Range and open this bike right up. And my God, does it sound good? I honestly don't know. Okay, 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 little bit of a rundown, <sighs> Leaks Tech, fucking nice job, that was the shit, you can obviously hear it sounds good, it's pops, it's crackles, a mat, like a very noticeable gain in mid-range power for sure. This is wicked. Also, I love this fly screen. It really kind of completes the bike. But seriously, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. I get it now. I get it. I thought these bikes sounded good stock. Fuck. I haven't heard a bike that sounds that good in a long time. That's wicked. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Vinny from Road Blast Media. And if you haven't modified your exhaust on your infield, do it. There will be some coming from my Continental GT very soon because I won't be able to live without this and I'll be riding Dad's bike more than I ride mine. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and um, make sure to check out the other videos. Cheers, guys. Love you.